I'm Dr. Carter Clement from Children's Hospital of New Orleans, and in this video, we're going to discuss out-towing. Out-towing is common in children. It typically does not require any treatment, including no bracing, physical therapy, or surgery. In fact, out-towing should be considered normal, except in very severe cases, just like in-towing is part of the normal spectrum. In general, leg rotation is determined by three parts of the lower extremity, the hip and thigh bone, or femur, the shin bone, or tibia, which is the larger bone of the lower leg, and the foot. Overall rotation is the sum of these parts and determines which way the feet point. These segments can be measured separately by your doctor during a physical exam, as shown here, to determine where the out-towing is coming from. It is normal for the rotation of the leg to change during childhood as the child grows. For example, children are typically born with femurs that twist inward. At the same time, some of the muscles around the hip are very tight in infants, which can make the leg look like it twists outward, or at least it can hide the inward twist of the femur. At young ages, the tibia also typically twists inward, and in some infants, the foot is also bent inward. In these cases, the foot tends to straighten out very early with growth, usually by age two. As children begin walking, the muscles around the hip tend to stretch out, which usually makes the leg appear to be twisted inward due to the shape of the bones. By age 4, the tibia usually straightens out. By age 8 to 10, the femur usually straightens out as well. Throughout this process, several variations can lead to out-towing. For example, children often have flat feet, which are sometimes called flat arches or fallen arches. In fact, it is normal to have flat feet until age 4 or 5. With flat feet, the heel typically tilts outward, which can make the whole foot point outward when a child stands or walks. Even when flat feet do not resolve by age 4 or 5, they usually do not cause any problems and do not need any treatment, including no braces, physical therapy, or surgery. In other cases of out-towing, the outward rotation comes from the shape of the femur or tibia. Since these bones gradually rotate outward with growth, the out-towing may actually increase a bit over time. By age 8 to 10, the leg tends to be rotated the way it will stay for life, which is usually with the toes pointing approximately straight ahead. Of course, many adults are left with toes that point either slightly inward or outward. As mentioned earlier, this is considered normal and usually doesn't cause any problems. In fact, if you watch sports closely, you may notice that many professional athletes have obvious in-towing or out-towing, and it clearly isn't hampering their performance. And of course, some athletes benefit from out-towing. In rare cases, out-towing may be caused by a more severe condition especially when it develops in older children or when one leg is rotated more than the other as shown here. In these cases, your doctor may get x-rays to check the shape and stability of the hips or other bones. Braces were used in the past for out-towing, but we now know that they are not needed and do not change the leg's rotation. Similarly, physical therapy and chiropractic manipulation are not useful for leg rotation and do not change the shape of the leg. Out-towing typically doesn't require surgery, except in the most extreme cases. Even in those extreme cases, we only consider surgery if the leg rotation is severe enough to cause problems like pain or frequent tripping. However, frequent tripping is difficult to determine in young children because they trip and fall down so frequently just by virtue of being kids. Realistically, it can only be assessed in older children and teenagers. Surgery for those extreme cases involves cutting the bones, which we call osteotomies, and straightening them out. For example, the cut bone may be fixed with a metal plate or a metal rod in the center of the bone. These surgeries typically require a lengthy recovery with anywhere from three months to a year before returning to sports. In conclusion, surgery is very rarely needed for out-towing. Similarly, braces and therapy are not used for out-towing. For the vast majority of children with out-towing, the legs rotation will not cause any problems and never requires treatment. Still, out-towing at a young age may progress and, in extreme cases, can cause problems later in childhood or adulthood. Thank you for watching and please check out orthokids.org for more info.